My name is June Onguru, and around the time the CRC was signed, I remember being a 14-year-old full of dreams and hopes. I really loved reading and I, I loved writing as well. And um, I just remember one time our, my headmistress, Sister Doreen, uh, at Our Lady of Mercy Primary School coming and announcing that there was a competition, a writing competition organized by UNICEF. It was my first introduction actually to the United Nations and to UNICEF in general. So I, I remember just trying to read up and ask questions on who these are. And it was exciting to find out that there's this big global organization that, you know, was wanted to take care of my rights as a child. I just remember as a girl growing up in a society at that time that still valued the boy child more than the girl child, feeling that I had a right to fight for my own space. I was excited about the, the possibility of participating in the essay writing competition and I just remember writing, you know, writing about my right to education, the right to, to, uh, to proper health care, the right to play, to protect my dignity. And I also just remember writing about um, fulfilling my dreams and knowing that I can achieve whatever it is I want to if I work hard at it, as a girl especially. I was called to the head teacher's room and yeah, she gave me the exciting news that, uh, that I had won. So looking back, um, and as a UNICEF employee, I'm just so proud of how far we've come. You know, the Kenyan child now has uh, free access to primary education. There's free health services for children under five. There is more access to protection services for children. But the truth is, not every child in Kenya still enjoys the right to have a full childhood. And I believe we should not stop. We must lobby the governments, the business communities, the people who are influencers in society to continue pushing and fighting for these rights of the children until every single child in Kenya enjoys their full rights.